I'd like to welcome y'all to Q City World. And today we'll be talking about Al Heyman. Is he good for boxing or is he bad? The way I see Al Heyman, man, I look at Al Heyman like uh, a businessman. I don't look at him like a promoter, you feel me? I see that La Jolla and all of them tried to sue him for being a promoter, you know what I mean? He's, this is proof that he's not a promoter, he's an advisor, you know what I mean? So he want all his fighters to make the most amount of money. Earl Spence made $3 million fighting Lamont Peterson, you feel me? He know how to help you get this money. Now, when it comes up, Danny Garcia made 1.2 million fighting, you know, a bomb fight against Brandon Rio. I mean, I ain't gonna call Brandon Rio the bomb fight, but it was a fight that we all knew that Danny Garcia had a high percentage chance of winning. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, those fights alone, they made more money than Lumacheco against Rigadile. You feel me? And we all know that they put Rigadile and Lumacheco gloves in the Boxing Hall of Fame. I mean, I look at Al Hammond like a, he give you opportunity. You can be all you can fucking be. If you want to get a $300 million fight, he'll make that happen. If you want to make a, if Floyd want to fight in the UFC, he might advise Floyd not to fight in the UFC, but if that's what Floyd want to do, hey, he'll make sure Floyd make the most money he can make in that fight. You know what I mean? Because he's all about the money. He's a businessman. I mean, everybody complaining about Al Heyman, but Al Heyman just playing his part. I mean, he's acting as his job title. If I was your advisor, I'm not your promoter. So I could give you advice. You're a millionaire. I could give you advice. There's one thing you can't control. It's a human being. That's why factories get robots to build cars now. You know what I mean? Because they know that humans you know, they, they end up bi building a union and they end up trying to make shit. You can't depend on them, man, because, you know, you can't depend on the human. You know what I mean? Say you got a business and you, you got a small business, you got somebody working for you. And he's a good worker when he come to work, but he always late. You know what I mean? A human is something you can't depend on. You can't control another man. You feel me? So if you're playing the role as an advisor, there's no way that you can make somebody do something. You're a advisor. You're not a commander, <laughs> you feel me? You're not his president, you're not his promoter, you're not his boss, you feel me? You're a advisor, understand the word advisor. Now, if Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, if they wanted to fight Earl Spence, your boy, if they wanted to fight Earl Spence, Al Hammond might advise them not to fight him. Like, man, you're going to get your ass beat. I don't think you should do it. I think you should do this first. You know, he's the advisor. You feel me? Now, if they want to make it happen, like, fuck that. I want to fight him. I want to prove I'm the best. You think Al Hammond going to say no? I don't think so, bro. You feel me? You can. He's not going to say you can't do it. You feel me? So, he might be advising them boys to fight Earl Spence. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he's the advisor. So the more money they make, the more money he make. Look at him like a lawyer, you feel me? He ain't on TV talking, cause he deal with his cut, his clients. He's not trying to talk to the boxing world and trying to satisfy the boxing world. He's a businessman, you feel me? We're lucky that we even know his fucking name, you feel me? I'm pretty sure there's some other people that's around him that we don't even know their name, you know what I mean? It might be somebody above him, you never know. I, you know, I never know, you never know. At the end of the day, like I said, he's an advisor. So if I'm your advisor, you know, and even if I think you're going to lose, I'm probably tell you, don't take that fight because I'm your advisor if I'm a good advisor. So quit blaming Al Heyman. You know what I mean? Uh, Al Heyman is getting these guys the money that's making these guys spoiled and they not want to take, they want to take the easy route. And, you know, they thinking money more than legacy. That's all it is. But at the end of the day, you know, Floyd never slowed, I mean, not Floyd, Al Heyman never stopped Floyd for making all the business moves. He's made show that Floyd made the most money out of all the moves he ever made. And I like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Hey, listen, kids, I'ma show you how to hit a lick. I'ma show you how to hit a lick. Hey, listen, kids, I'ma show you how to hit a lick.